What's up guys, Brennan here, back with another video. Today we're going to be doing a piano tutorial for the song Gymnopédie by Eric Satie. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. But this is a beautiful song, it's actually one of my favorite songs of all time. And I'm excited for you guys to learn it. So let's get started. Before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a ton and it also helps you guys out because then you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Here we go. So we're going to break this up section by section. This song is a little bit tricky to get the hang of because you're doing a lot of different things in the left hand. But just bear with me, we're going to take it step by step. The first section is just going to be the left hand, no right hand. It's going to start like this. And these two are going to go back and forth. You're going to be repeating this quite a bit. So it's going to be G with your pinky, and you jump all the way up here to this chord. A chord is when you play two or more notes at the same time. So this is a chord. It's going to be B, D, F sharp. So practice jumping because your hand's going to have to jump quite a bit. another jump that we do next. You go D all the way down here and then you jump up here to this formation which is going to be A, C sharp, F sharp. So it's going to be then you go back to G. D. So just take a second and practice this. hardest part is you your hands can automatically know that you go from G to D okay so try it again now I'm gonna go ahead and play through the next section then we're gonna break down how to learn it So good news is the left hand is exactly the same as what we just learned. So we're going to learn the right hand and then put both together. So here we go through the right hand. So you're going to start with your third finger here on F sharp and you're going to go from F sharp to A to G to F sharp. So it's going to be like this. Then you go to C sharp and B, and then you go. So that's C sharp, D, A, and then lastly you hit F sharp. Let's go over that again because you're learning a lot of keys. Okay, third finger here on F sharp. Jump down to C sharp. C sharp, D, A, then you hold that, and then you do F sharp. I'm gonna play it through without talking. All right, so other than holding down the A, the rest of these, you're going to actually play the same amount of time. So in other words, you're not holding any one of these longer than the other. Okay, so now let's put both hands together. So you come in on the right hand when you're hitting this formation. So not when you're playing G, but when you play this. Okay, so let's try that. G, then when you go up to here, this is when you start. Okay. Now, when you go to play G in the right hand, you play it at the same time when you're hitting D here. So it's going to be like this. Okay, a little tricky. Let's go over it again nice and slow. Same time, same time, same time. Then you go 
And when you go to play B, you need to be back on the G. And then when you play A, you need to be back on the D. I know this is a little tricky, so it's best to just watch my hands and practice it nice and slow. So I'm gonna go through it again. to the F sharp when you're hitting the G. See, it continues again. Okay, and then that entire section repeats itself. So, you go play through full speed what we've learned so far, okay? Now you come in on this next one. to the next section. So now it changes a little bit. So you go to C sharp in your right hand and you're going to play F sharp in your left hand. So it's going to be like this. Okay. And what you're going to play is A, C sharp, F sharp. So you're going from F sharp and then in the right hand you're just, you're just playing C sharp. So it's like this at the same time. Your right hand moves up to F sharp and you jump all the way down here to B and you jump up to B, D, F sharp. So let's try that both together. So it's going to be like this. Move up to F sharp and play B at the same time. Okay. Then both of your thumb and your pinky play E and then you play G and B. So let's try that all together. Remember this? Both play E and then these two, okay? Then after that you hit E again and you're gonna play G, B, and D. And then after that, you go D, and then you play F, A, and D. So this is going to be a lot of switching chords in the left hand. Don't be hard on yourself. This is a really tricky left hand. So let's go over this again. Then you jump down to B. practice. Let's try it again. All right, feel free to pause the video and practice what we've learned so far. We're going to go ahead and move on to the next part. So then you're going to have your pinky on A and your thumb on A. And it's going to be like this. You're going to go from A and jump up here 
to A, C, E. And in the right hand, you're gonna go. So it's gonna be like this. So we're gonna go ahead and learn the next right hand phrase and then put both together. So it's gonna be like this. I'm gonna play through it. Okay, so that's A, B, C, E, D, B, D, C, B, D. Without me talking. Okay, and then the left hand, it's gonna be these like we learned. Nothing with C, but when you go to E, you then go down in the left hand to D, and then you're gonna play G, B, and E. So try that together. to stretch a lot. So it's going to be pinky on D, middle finger on G, pointer finger on B, and thumb on C. So you're really going to have to stretch your fingers. If you can't do it, just drop out that pinky and play these three, okay? So it's going to be... And then you jump from D to another hard chord, which is going to be C, F, A, D. So just practice that and you're going to hit D both times down here. So it's. That's probably one of the hardest parts of the whole song. Okay, so let's put this next part together, okay? So starting on A, remember? remember and then you do D's again at the same time and then you do your next hard chord so I'm gonna play it through slow without talking So it's going to be D, F sharp, A, D. So it's going to be like. All right. So let's put this whole last section we just learned together. tricky. So that's D, E, F, skip G and go to A. Then you go C, D, E, D, B, D. So that second part is so let's put both together. time. D, E, F, skip G and go to A. Then you go C, D, E, D, B, D. So then in the left hand, you're going to start with your pinky here on D. And you're going to jump up to this formation, which is A with your pinky, C with your middle finger, and F with your thumb. So try that. 
try that. Then the next one is you hit D again, and then you hit this. So earlier you were playing A, C, F, now you're playing A, C, E. So try that. First D. Next one. Then your next ones are two you're going to recognize that you just did earlier. So your pinky on D. And then the one where you have to stretch a bunch. So you're going to have your pinky on D, middle finger on G, pointer finger on B, and stretch your thumb all the way up to E. Okay, so it's D, this one. If that's too much of a stretch, just drop your pinky and do these three, okay? So it's... Then the next one, D again. And then you do pinky on C, middle finger on E, pointer finger on A, and thumb on D. Quite the stretch there. If it's too much, you can drop the thumb in the D. Okay? So just to go over that again, these two are this one. Stretch. D again. So that whole left hand part just to go over it. So we're starting on D here. Then your next one, you're just changing to your thumb down to this. Then you do the two we recognize. Remember, next one. Okay, let's put both hands together here. So starting with your thumb's gonna be on D here and your pinky's gonna be on D as well. So we're gonna go like this, nice and slow. Let's put both hands together. Here we go. So when you go to E, that's when you need to be playing this formation. So it's. And then when you go to A, you need to go back to the D in the left hand. And then you immediately go onto the C with these. I know that's a little tricky with the timing, so let's go over that again. So starting here together, F on its own, A, okay, I'm going to do it again without talking, so you know when you're playing the C, you need to be on A, C, and E, one more time. Then you go D on its own, and when you go to E, you then start the next formation. So it's like this. Just watch me do the whole thing nice and slow. this you do D and then you'll recognize this one from earlier so that's pinky on D middle finger up to this black key F sharp pointer finger on A and thumb on D and that just plays on its own nothing in the right hand so then it goes we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next section here we're gonna learn the right hand so it's with your pointer finger on D then you go to G and F sharp so it's then you go down to B and then you do a little walk up from A B C sharp D E C sharp D E jump down to F sharp a little tricky, let's go over it again. From the top. Remember to jump down here to B. G. 
jump down to F sharp. A little tricky. I'm gonna say the notes. D, G, F sharp, jump down to B, A, B, C sharp, D, E, C sharp, D, E, F sharp. Okay? Now the left hand is gonna be a little bit tricky. You're gonna first do pinky on E, and then you go from B, E, and G. Okay? So it's... Then you go to F sharp with your pinky, and then you go to A, C sharp, F sharp. So practice that, E, these three, up to F sharp. Then you go down to B here, and you're going to jump up to pinky on B, middle finger on D, and thumb on F sharp. Then the next one is you hit E, and then you play all three of these again. So let's go ahead and go over it from the top. First starting on E, move up to F sharp, these three, down to B, these three, then you move up to E, these three, E, these four, and then lastly, you just play an E. Okay, it's a little tricky. You're changing a lot in the left hand in this song, so just bear with me. It gets easier with practice. So we're going to go ahead and put both hands together here. So here we go. So D is on its own, and when you go to G is when you need to come in on this E key here. Okay, so it's D, G. Then when you move to this key, you need to move to this. So try that with me. These two. Okay, now we go down to B and you play B here at the same time. So it's, and then when you go to the immediate next key is when you need to be playing this chord in the left hand. So it's, then you move to E. Next one, and those are at the same time. This is a really hard part of the song, so let's go over it a few times again. Let's go over it a few times again. Okay, so we have this one on, the, on its own, and then E and G at the same time. F sharps at the same time. Now we go to B and B. These two, same time. without talking. All right, guys, you guys are doing awesome. I know I can't hear you, but I can tell you're doing awesome. So now we're going to learn the next little part. So then you immediately go to a few chords, which means you're playing multiple keys at the same time. That's what a chord is. So it's like this. These are all chords. Okay? So the next thing you do is you do your thumb on E, pinky on B, thumb on D, middle finger on G. So you go. Okay? Then you move to a lot a lot of keys. So you go down to A here and your thumb moves to G. Okay. Then in the right hand you do C, E, A, C. Like that. Okay. Last one is you move your thumb
thumb and your pinky down to D in the left hand, and then your right hand goes to this one. So it's D, pointer finger on F sharp, middle finger on A, and pinky on D. All at the same time. Let's go over that little section here. Starting here, right? Then you move this one down to A and this one up to G, and then you do these four. So that's A, G, C, E, A, C. And then lastly, you move these two down to D and this up to these. Let's go over it again. Next one. Last one. Okay, and then at this point, the song actually almost entirely repeats from the very beginning to everything that we've learned so far. The only change is one little part of the song changes, and then the rest is exactly the same. So I'm going to go over the part that changes. It continues on from the very beginning from everything we've learned so far. The only time it changes is, remember when we were doing this part where it goes... We just learned that. The next time around, when you go to do that part, you play something different. You play this instead. Instead of going to this black key, you go down to F. Then you go B, C, F, E, D, C, E, D, C, F. Okay, so let's go over that again. Now we're going to learn the left hand. So it's So the first one is just like the last time we played. So it's pinky on E and then you jump up to B E G. Okay? Then you go to E and then you play these four which is pinky on A, middle finger on C, pointer finger on F and thumb on A. So try that, E. Okay, so after you do that, then you go back down to E. And then you play these three together. Then you go back down to E. And then you play these four that you just played again. So that's A, C, F, A. Then you repeat that. And then lastly, you just hit E with your pinky. Okay, so it's a little tricky. Let's put both hands together because that can sometimes help clarify. So from the top, we're going to put both hands together here. So remember, we start D on its own. So it's... And then this is where we do the E and the G at the same time. Now, instead of going down here like we did last time, we're going to move to F. And that is when you move to the next progression. So it's like this. Then you go, so it's, okay, so let's try that all together. These four, then you move down to B, then this again. down to D and your thumb is on F. And the good news is that's the only difference. Then the next part goes right into what we just learned which was that chord progression remember so it's like this. Then it goes to this. And then lastly 
and that's the entire song. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you had fun along the way, and if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to let me know down in the comment section below and I can try and help. This is definitely a tricky song and there's a lot of left hand movement. So don't be too hard on yourself. Make sure that you practice it a ton. I had to practice this for a few weeks before I was able to be at the point of recording it. So just keep that in mind. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do piano tutorials, covers, original songs, and instructional videos. And if you subscribe, you won't miss out on any of my future videos. All right guys, thank you so much for watching.